Gary Pass was with Daryl Rideau on Brian Kennedy, Howard Jones Field. Daryl, we are after the Tuesday practice, which is really your Wednesday practice for the Trojans. But the big news coming out this week is the change at quarterback. You came out here today to kind of get a pulse of the team, a temperature of the team, if you will. What did you find? You know, Gary, I expected with the change of, at the quarterback position that this team would rally behind the decision and it would be a galvanizing decision. But instead, I came out feeling indifferent. I came in with emotions, expecting to see chippiness on the football field and, and really guys ready to assert themselves and turn this season around. Instead, I felt a lot of mixed emotions and, and a lot of questions that still have gone unresolved. And one of the things that's interesting about this, it's a short week. You're coming back on Friday yeah. to play the Utah Utes. You and I were talking, is this really an ideal time to be implementing a system yeah. that might work for a different quarterback? You know, a, a guy like Sam Darnold who can beat you, and he's so dynamic, with a short week of preparation time, is there enough time to get the best of him, to implement enough in the game plan where everybody feels confident on the road against a very hostile team? I'm not certain that, that this was the best week to do that. Normally you see these type of decisions made, going into a bye week. But you have to give uh, Clay, uh, Coach Clay Heldon a lot of credit. He made a decisive decision. I asked him the question, you know, in weeks like this, Gary, um, this can become one of those temperature moments where it's a defining moment. And as a coach, he made a very decisive move. Let's see what direction and how the team responds. And talk about that. You've been on teams here at USC. You had Paul Hackett where he was not able to climb out of a bad situation. Yeah. You saw Pete Carroll, a slow start. He was able to get out yeah. of it. What is your mood right now as far as when you're seeing right now what this team is bringing? And, and as a player, fr from the perspective of what is the message that's being delivered from the top down, the first first thing that always comes to mind is, do I believe in the leadership and do I believe in the message that's being conveyed? Whether it's decisions that are made from the coordinator positions and onto the field, whether we're questioning those decisions or a decision to make a, co a, a quarterback change at a time where, from a fan's perspective, I didn't feel like there was such a decisiveness about how Darnold was playing versus how Max Brown was playing as, as, as a leader of this team. So what I'm more curious about is, Whatever decision that was made, will these players make it right by going on the on the road and playing with pride and coming back with the victory? If so, then the decision that he made, he looks like he just saved a season. Otherwise, this might be the start of a very long process of trying to determine who is the 2016 USC Trojans. And we're about to find out on Friday when the Trojans take on the Utah Utes. From Brian Kennedy, Howard Jones Field, for Dale Rideau, this is Gary Pasquitz. You're watching We Are SC.